Today's episode with Miss Kim is all about snakes, and you'll be meeting Emerald the Snake Puppet. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hello, everyone. This is Miss Kim from Miss Kim's Children's Music. Today, we're going to be learning all about snakes. I have a special guest today, Emerald the Sock Puppet, who's going to be helping us to learn all about snakes. There is so much to learn. I cannot wait. Are you ready to meet Emerald the Snake? Hello, Emerald. How are you today? Thank you so much for having me, Miss Kim. It's my pleasure to be here. The first question I have for you, Emerald, is how many different kinds of snakes are there around the world? Can you tell us that? Yes, I can tell you, there are approximately 3,000 different species of snakes found around the world. About 700 of those are venomous, which means they can kill or injure their prey. That's pretty fascinating. 3,000 different species? Woo! Wondering, Emerald, can you tell me a little bit about where we can't find snakes? Because I know there are snakes all over the world. I think more so than not, right? Where are there no snakes? What countries are there no snakes to be found? Well, the only places snakes cannot be found are in Antarctica. Iceland, Ireland, Greenland, New Zealand, Siberia, and Central and Northern Canada. Basically, they don't like cold weather. In the United States, you probably won't find snakes in Alaska or Hawaii. Aloha. Well, that's pretty interesting. Maybe I need to go to Alaska and Hawaii so I don't have to see any snakes. Actually, snakes don't bother me at all. We actually owned three snakes. I was a pet owner. So, I have another question for you. Are there different categories of snakes? Maybe you could tell us a little bit about the different categories of snakes since there are so many species. That would be kind of an interesting fact to understand. There are four categories of snakes. We'll do them one at a time. Elapids. Elapids have short fangs and are very, very venomous. Some typical elapids are cobras, Mambas, sea snakes, and corals. If you check the screen, I'm going to show you what some of those look like right now. Elapids are a family of snakes with short fangs, such as cobras, the black and green mambas, sea snakes that love water, and lastly, the coral snakes that have that beautiful yellow, red, and black coloring, but they're very venomous. The next category of snakes are viperids. Viperids are venomous and have very long fangs. Some typical viperids are adders, rattlesnakes, Cotton mouths, copper heads, gaboon, green or horned viper. Let's look at the screen. Let's look at the screen to see what they look like. The viperid family of snakes has many different adders, 
They have rattlesnakes of all types. Do you hear that rattle? There are cotton mouths. Can you look in their mouth? It looks like almost like cotton. And they're also called water moccasins. Then we have our vipers, gaboon vipers and horned vipers. Look at the horns on that snake. I don't know, Emerald. I'm not so sure I want to know anything more about the lapids and the viperids with their short and long fangs. They sound pretty scary. Thank you for sharing. What, are there any more categories? Maybe the ones that aren't venomous that we can hear about? That would be really helpful. Why, yes, Miss Kim. I was going to get to that. Colubrids are the most common non-venomous snakes. This category has the most snakes of all the snake types. Some of them are corn snake, milk snake, garter snake, king snakes. Take a look, see what they look like. Colubrids are the most common of the non-venomous snakes. Corn snakes are the most common pets that most people have. There's also milk snakes. There are king snakes. And the other most common non-venomous snake are the garter snakes, which I find a lot in my garden, in my backyard. Here's a San Francisco garter snake. It's gorgeous colors. Pythons. Pythons are also a family of non-venomous snakes. And they have the largest snakes in this category. And by large, I mean big, thick, long. Ball pythons, anacondas, Burmese pythons, reticulate Python and boa constrictors all belong to the python family. Take a look and see them over here and on the screen. The python family of snakes is also non-venomous. The ball python is another family pet favorites. Anaconda is one of the largest of snakes. Thick, big snakes. Also the Burmese python and the boa constrictor. That is fascinating, fascinating. I believe that we owned colubrids because we had corn snakes. We had a beautiful white corn snake. It was an albino corn snake. It was absolutely gorgeous. And we called him Sherbert. We sure do miss Sherbert. He's gone off to snake heaven. So what other fun facts can you tell us about snakes? I'd love to know a little bit about what they eat, how they eat. Maybe you can tell me what they like to eat. That would be interesting. Probably not cereal. Probably not apples and oranges, right? Oh yes, snakes love to eat, but don't eat often. Snakes, we like to eat meat. We are carnivores. Some foods we like to eat are rats, mice, chipmunks. Some snakes will eat bugs, rodents, frogs, and other small animals. Snakes, we snakes have flexible jaws to allow us to eat prey bigger than our head. Watch as I open. Snakes cannot bite food. We don't use forks or spoons. We just swallow our food whole. Go. Bellies get fat. That's how you know. We've eaten, you can see, in our belly a big lump. Snakes don't have eyelids or ears that you can see. 
see. No ears that you can see. Like Miss Kim over there. Our ears are internal. <laughs> a snake's skin sheds four to twelve times a year. Shedding is normal for everybody. All people shed too, but snakes shed in one big piece. Just like this, look on the screen. They call it molting. Molting. Wow, Emerald, that is some fascinating facts. I can't open my jaw that wide. And I eat with a fork and a spoon. Hmm. You know those bigger snakes I wanted to mention? I learned this once, that those big, big, huge anaconda snakes can eat pigs and goats. Now that is one big meal. Well, I think we've had a wonderful time today with Mr. Emerald, our snake puppet friend, telling us so much about snakes. There's so many more facts out there about snakes to be learned. That's what's amazing about our world. So much to be learned. So keep learning every day, children, and thank you for joining Miss Kim. See you later. Thank you for having me, Miss Kim. Bye, boys and girls. Thank you for watching Miss Kim's Children's Music Channel. Tune in again and subscribe.